Hey guys, what's up? My name is Zach and I'm the West Virginia DIY guy. My shop has gotten pretty out of hand over the last few years since I've been making videos and I really need some new storage solutions. So here in the near future I'm going to be doing a complete remodel down here. As far as painting the walls and putting up some cabinets, moving some shelves around, painting some workbenches, trying to make things look a little bit nicer down here. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, to begin that I'm going to start with a storage cart for my scroll saw and one of my sanders and probably my planner as well. So I've gone to my graph paper and drawn up some plans. I know a lot of you out there are familiar with SketchUp and use SketchUp for your plans. I am not familiar with SketchUp. I haven't had the, the time or the chance to really learn that program. So I stick with graph paper for now. It works for me. I can see what I'm doing and I can draw out the plans really quickly. So I'm going to go by the plans I've drawn here. I've come up with a cut list as well so I know exactly how much wood I need to get. So today I'm going to try to build the cart. I'm going to add some drawers to it later. Um, maybe I'll get to that today, maybe I won't. We'll see how it goes. The legs for the cart will be 31 and 3 quarter inches. So I'll start by cutting four of those. supports for this cart will be 17 inches on the top and 14 inches on the bottom. I'll go ahead and cut those now. The top side braces will be 37 inches long and the bottom side braces will be 44 inches long. I need two of those each as well. With all the pieces cut, I think I'm ready to get out the Craig jig and start assembling. With pocket holes drilled in the 37 inch, 17 inch, and 14 inch pieces, I'm now ready to assemble. I'll be attaching the bottom bracing for the cart to the inside of the legs. That way I can put an MDF shelf on the bottom and have plenty of support there without having to add anything later. So I'm going to drill some pilot holes and attach with three screws. This is the bottom end support, the 14 inch support. It will go in vertical. Glue on both ends. And again with two and a half inch wood screws. For the top support, I'm going to put this one horizontal instead of vertical like the rest of the bracing is. I want to make this horizontal just so I have a little more to attach the top to. I don't think it gives up a whole lot of uh, stability by doing it this way. Okay, the assembly is complete on the basic frame here. On the bottom I'm going to put MDF as a shelf and on the top I'm going to use a countertop that a friend of mine found actually in a dumpster. And uh, it's in really great shape so he grabbed it for me and I'm going to attach that to the top. It should look pretty good. So uh, at this point I think I'm going to go ahead and cut some braces to put in the middle of both um, the top and bottom on the framing there just to strengthen it a little bit. So that'll be another 14 and another 17. All the bracing's done and I've got the MDF cut. So now I'm going to put some glue down, drill some pilot holes, and attach the MDF to the bottom shelf.
that looks pretty great. The wheels, I'm going to put some 3 inch casters on it. They will be delivered tomorrow. Ordered those from Amazon. Um, locking casters for it. So they'll be here tomorrow and then I'll go ahead and attach those. But I think this was a successful day for sure.